Some residents in the Russell community live without the necessity of running water. I visited with them and District 2 Supervisor Wayman Newell today to find out more about this problem. Approximately 50 people live on Betts Radcliffe Road and have always lived without the necessity of clean running water due to rural water lines being costly to run through that area. I've been out here about 53 years and we've been using uh, well water since we've been out here. And as he said, the water get muddy sometimes, sometimes it's druggy, and uh, you have to go, it, it stops up your pump, and then you have to pull the pump out and have it clean out. So, a water, clean water, would be a lifesaver. These residents do share shallow wells, but have issues with the wells drying up and their water quality being very low. And the water that we have staining your clothes, and if it's staining your clothes and staining your toilets and stuff, is staining your body. So that's pretty much what we're trying to do here. This area is beautiful land with rolling hills and has been home to many families for generations. They desperately need clean water, but those hills are part of the problem. Back when they put rural water in 50 to 60 years ago, they used two inch pipe, four inch pipe. And today with the volume of people in Lauderdale County, they need more pressure. I'm with Roscoe and Ruby, and they were kind enough to show me the quality of water that these residents have been having to drink. And let me tell you, while this water looks clear, it smells like rotten eggs. District 2 Supervisor Wayman Newell has been working urgently for over two years to try to get the $1 million funding it will take to solve this problem. I'd like to uh, mention that it, it's some health issues up that road, uh, some uh, serious health issues, and we need running water. He's tried to get water to residents by applying for the American Recovery Act, which provides federal funding for rural water areas. Newell, Russell Utilities, Engineering Plus, and East Central Planning and Development are working together to reapply for this funding. The applications for the federal grant have to be turned in by August 28th, and the money will be awarded.